Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. I am Zagra, of course, and in today's video we'll be having a look at breeding Mermix Royals, of course. Now then, the reason for me making this video is simply because I saw a lot of people having troubles <laughs> getting them to go into breeding mode, and I've had the same issues. So I thought I'll just pop a video onto YouTube, you know, as to what I figured out. So here is that video. Alrighty. First things first, you'll of course need eggs. You need the Mermix Royal eggs, and you can simply get these by stealing them from an existing hive, or obviously just trading with the queen if you have got enough resin. So first things first, the location is probably the most important thing. Now what I've noticed through testing is the reason why Mermix Royals don't go into breeding mode is that there is an existing hive within, based on my testing, within 600 blocks. I've done this about 10 times now and whenever I go 1000 blocks or 600 blocks away from an existing Mermix hive, then they do go into breeding mode. It looks like the hive itself has got some kind of a structural ID, basically like a stronghold. And that counts for hives which you've exterminated as well. So if there was a hive nearby and you've already, you know, exterminated them all, killed the queen and so on, the structural ID will still stay with that structure and they also will not go into breeding mode because it detects that as an existing hive. Okay, so that's the most important thing. If you want to remember anything from the video, remember that. Now, breeding them, pretty simple. Just place your eggs. They do not want to be in light, so just put a block on top and we pop them there. And that is wrong, so not like that, but like so. Lovely. And now I'm just going to sit here, park our ass, and wait for them to hatch, and then go through their various stages into adulthood. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so there we go. They have hatched, so now we don't need these anymore. Ah, uh, yes. So that is our little worm babies. Now we have to wait for them to mature. In this lovely forgiving environment. Hey, there we go. They have matured with our trusty godfather watching over them. Okay, from here we quickly put a fence and then we yoink, 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 yoink. Okay, so now they are mature and it will only be a couple of minutes before they start flying into the sky. And then they are going to go into breeding mode. So we just kind of strap them down. That's because I want the hive to be here. I don't want them buggering off into anywhere. And, you know, forming a hive there. So they're just going to fly up into the sky. Fly like a butterfly. And then as soon as they start breeding, one of them is going to die. And the other will turn into a queen. And she will land her ass right here. And then spawn in a new hive. So let's sit around and wait, like perverts. Oh, and there we go. Houston, we have lived off. Now just gonna sit around here, do this so we get a good view. So, pretty soon they are going to turn into, well, one of them, the other one has got the less good bargain. One of them is gonna turn into a queen, Plonk on down, there we go, magic's happening. Now watch this, this is super cool. Aha, there it is. Now let's go on down and check it out. Whee! And she spawns with a couple of workers, and I think a soldier or two in here already. No soldiers, just three workers, okay. And there we go, whole structure has generated, and there's a queen. She'll be a wild queen, by the way. Well, I say wild, just, you know, I guess wild's the right word. Yeah, so you'll need to trade with them in order to do stuff if you want any type of trading and that going on. Ah, oh, love in here. Cool. That's how that's done. Now I have, if I could fly out here, another thing to show you guys. This is, basically, that's the, uh, the Mermix trading, uh, trading, breeding, the royal breeding thing, basically, in, in a nutshell. Now I want to show you guys something <laughs> quite funny that I've done just by playing around with them because I've been having fun. Let's see, if we were to go to 
the end. And then we were to hypothetically go to the end portal and from there build up 16 blocks. Uh huh. And now, on here, we build ourselves a little platform. Then, I'm not gonna hatch them again because that's gonna take ages. We do just about the same thing again spawn in, spawn in. And we lead them onto there. Hey. There we go, I'm just going to widen this a little bit. Then we get something quite interesting that happens next. Now let's watch. And there they go. They are airborne. And there it happens. Observe. <laughs> Let's go have a look, shall we? And the end portal. Oh no! Where did you go? Magic! <laughs> ah, the things I do. Anyway, I of course have got no intention whatsoever of griefing anybody's world using this technique. <laughs> but I found it quite interesting. And I thought maybe you guys would too. Alright. And that's all I got for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Durgo saying goodbye. Have you guys. Have you guys. Have an awesome day. Yeah, you know what I want to say. <laughs> Cheers.